Hey guys, it's Sebastian from Mass Heavy, and today we are going to talk about fence per point and understanding what that means. So one question I get quite a bit is, hey, you talked about two cents per point, but whenever I look at Chase, it's a one-to-one -one transfer rate. So what do you mean? Why are you saying it's two cents per point? So a big part of that is understanding what cents per point really means. Oftentimes I use the abbreviation CPP, but the idea is how much A lot of people associate it with the number of points rather than the value of the points. So a good example is trace points because I think for a lot of people it's the easiest to understand. So when you think of the points, if you don't have any other cards, if you only have the free, if you only have the freedom and the freedom unlimited, the points are going to be worth only one cent per point. Just because that's the cash out rate, meaning that if you have 10,000 points, that's a hundred dollars. If you have some other cards, you can increase that rate to 1.25 or 1.5. But where a lot of the value comes from is actually going to be in transfer partners. So in transfer partners, what I typically say is you're getting two cents per point, sometimes maybe three cents per point. But people confuse that with the number of points you're getting. So for example, if you transfer 10,000 chase points to Hyatt, you're not getting 20,000 Hyatt points. You're still only getting 10,000 Hyatt points. So the main reason I say that is because if you look at a lot of hotels, even on the economic side, on the basic side, it's about 10,000 points. It's about 5,000 points, honestly, let's sell a bit. It's about 5,000 points for the category one. A lot of these category ones end up being about $100. This means that you're getting two cents per point in value because you're using 5,000 points in order to get something that costs $100. Hundred dollars a night. So, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. It's not really the number of points you're getting; it's what they're worth. Using kind of a necessary analogy, even though there's a lot of music going on, is imagine, imagine you have Canadian dollars or some other currency. But Canadian dollars is easy to understand. So let's say you transfer over a hundred dollars Canadian to a hundred dollars US. You're technically getting more value for those US dollars because, in in most circumstances at least. US dollars are worth more. Obviously it fluctuates and everything, but you kind of get the idea that by transferring the points over, even though it's at a one-to-one -one rate in this imaginary situation, you're getting more value. I'm gonna speed down and then we'll continue talking about this because why not? Also at Ski, Dubai, and the mall. So we are... So we're in a mall that has a ski hill. Which is kind of crazy if you think about it because we're in the middle of a desert. I'm going to go on the expert side because I there's less of a log jam over there. So experts only. So I've been using that lift over the ski lift just because it's a lot faster. And there's someone Oh, again, we're here, so you have to go through these gates and it's tap in order to get through, uh, just so they make sure that people aren't sneaking find stuff. One thing I don't like though is that it is a bit tight, so it goes green. So I feel like for a lot of other places, you have more room to maneuver here. It's just very tight. So this is, again, the challenging lift for experts only, quote unquote. Well, if this was helpful, let me know if you have any questions. My question for you guys is, what are your thoughts on transfers? Does it make sense? Is it really confusing? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. If you know anyone else, if you would benefit from all these thoughts off, feel free to share this video with them. It probably help them out. Otherwise, hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time.